Dude, are you worried about the recession? Yeah, me too. It's like everyone's talking about it and it's freaking me out. But hey, don't stress. We're going to survive this thing together. And guess what? Some states are actually better equipped to weather the storm than others. That's right. There are recession proof havens out there waiting to be discovered. So buckle up because I'm about to reveal the top 10 states you should move to if you want to uh, survive the recession and maybe even make a profit. Let's jump into number 10, Tennessee. Looks like Tennessee is fixing to ride out the recession without breaking a sweat. With low taxes and a booming economy churning out jobs in fancy fields like tech and healthcare, Tennessee's future is looking brighter than the neon lights on Nashville's Broadway, y'all. And you can stretch that dollar further than grandpappy's overall since the cost of living is cheaper than a country church picnic. Yeah. Like sweeter than uh, apple pie down in the good old volunteer state where opportunities flowing like Pigeon River. So all you fast talking city slickers and fancy pants Wall Street types might want to start practicing your yeehaws and shopping for some snakeskin boots with jobs and cheap living awaiting Tennessee's destined to see more Yankee migrants than a Mayfly convention. <laughs> you talking all number nine, Alaska. Wait, Alaska? Seriously? Hold your sled dogs, folks, because the last frontier is fixing to weather this recession better than a moose foraging through the first flakes of winter. Sure, Alaska is colder than a penguin's patootie and more remote than Uncle Jeb's fishing cabin. But that just means recessions barely make a ripple up here. And with the natural resource industry pumping like Alaskan crude, them oil riches should keep the economy slick as a seal through the next downturn. Businesses can lap up sweeter tax breaks than Aunt Betty's blue ribbon apple pie too. Uh, so while the lower 48 slips into economic hibernation, Alaska will keep churning out jobs like the mighty Yukon River churns out King Salmon. Before you know it, former Florida residents will be trading their trunks for snow boots to snatch up opportunities in the great white north. Just make sure to pack long johns for the outhouse sprint at 40 below Billy Bob. <laughs> Number eight, Nebraska. Well, slap my knee and call me Sally. Turns out Nebraska is this Midwestern gem destined to sparkle through the recession unscathed. With its strong agricultural roots nourishing the economy and job market, Nebraska's future harvest looks sweeter than grandma's blackberry cobbler. And property values flatter than the Great Plains means housing's more stable than a hardy prairie barn. The cost of living's cheaper than a hay bale too. Throw in the fact that the people are as cordial as Cornhuskers locals and scenic views prettier than Aunt Peggy at the county fair and Nebraska's practically begging y'all to move in. Before you can say, there's no place like Nebraska, this heartland haven will charm those overalls and suspenders right off even the staunchest coastal city slickers. With job security and affordability, just two corn stalks waiting to be plucked, Nebraska's ripe for new folks fleeing pricier pastures. Better start brushing up on your G willikers. <laughs> you know, for your conversations with potential neighbors. Number seven, Wyoming. Think cowboys and oil rigs, you're on the right track. Wyoming's the next economic promised land where jobs flow as free as the wind across some rolling plains. If cowboys, oil rigs, and big sky views do in fact make your spurs jingle, set your sights on the equality state where opportunity awaits like a lonesome prairie dog itching for a new neighbor. Recession got you down? Not to worry, partners. Wyoming's energy sector spits out more rapid growth than old faithful. Businesses are flocking here quicker than bison to fresh grasslands too. And them low taxes couple with views more breathtaking than your first rodeo ride. Enough to bring tears of joy to any city slicker. Why out here amongst the antelope and tumbling tumbleweeds, a hard worker can build themselves a right fine future. So hoof it on up to Wyoming where everything from jobs to nature's beauty is in abundant supply. Just be sure to grab your hat for the next big win comes whistling by. Number six, Minnesota. You betcha this Nordic wonderland's more stable than a prize Holstein freezing. What with this diversified economy churning out jobs, fiscally responsible government and Hardworking residents with more degrees than the average thermometer, Minnesota is destined to stay hotter than Loot Fisk through the next downturn. And living amongst all them thousand lakes means ample opportunity for fun in the sun during brief stints of summer. Come winter, outdoor activities here pile higher than a parking lot snowdrift, so bundle up. Whether you appreciate hoofing it through pine forests, ice fishing with the bunny hug crowd, or indulging in a spirited pond hockey tourney, this North Star State delivers more four season fun than powder milk. Biscuits deliver empty calories. You'll be feeling fit as a, a fiddle once you breathe in that brisk Minnesota air. So uh, if you're looking for American, Swedish, comfort food, affordable housing, and enough jobs to take the edge off winter, pack your long johns and set a course due north to Minnesota. Land of 10,000 future prospect. Number five, North Dakota. Well, don't let that plain Jane name fool you. North Dakota's shaping up to be the hottest Renaissance woman this side of the Mississippi. Seriously, folks. Well, with the state bursting at the seams with Silicon Prairie success, you think North Dakota was located alongside California instead of Canada? Yeah. You know, hmm. 
but it ain't just the tech sector spurring growth faster than a stampede of spook bison. This Great Plains warrior is also America's backbone, producing more oil and natural gas than the Middle East. With productivity exploding like fireworks over the state capital, North Dakota slayed the last recession like David slayed Goliath. And local folks here, sweeter than stolen honey from the hive, haha. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Turns out Dakota peeps bleed good old fashioned heartland hospitality. So take it from this old cowpoke. North Dakota's ripe with recession resistance and more ripe with opportunity for go-getters willing to grab the bull by the horns. Giddy on up and stake your claim partners and just leave some job prospects for the rest of us. Yeah. yeah. Number four, South Dakota. Turns out South Dakota's economy is more resilient than grandpappy's violin strings. What with agriculture and tourism, two sturdier industries than the gateway arch pumping out jobs and raking in tourist dollars by the busloads, South Dakota could weather a tornado better than Dorothy's farmhouse. And boasting one of the lowest unemployment rates in all the 50 states sure don't hurt either. Let's not forget about that stone-faced moneymaker named Mount Rushmore attracting tourists and drove eager to gaze at the mugs of Washington and Roosevelt. Pretty cool. All right, bottom line is with farm fresh stability and rapid job growth from tourism, South Dakota's poised to ride out the next round of recessions with ease. In fact, by the time the state feels the pinch, I reckon I'll have great grandkids. So all you out of luck folks in search of fortune, set a course due west to South Dakota. The shining economic gem of the Midwest. Just make sure to pack along John's Dodge and no. Number three, Wisconsin will string me up by my cheese head hat and call me Bucky. Looks like Wisconsin's poised to crush another recession. This Midwestern darling typically conjures up images of cows, brewskis, and the big cheese manufacturing industry. But Brett, nah, Wisconsin's been cooking up more economic stability than uh, Packers pregame tailgate, turns out Bratwurst. From dominant dairy production to tech startups galore, to a healthcare sector healthier than a vitamin-packed Friday night fish fry. Wisconsin is diversified like a blended whiskey. Mix and powerhouse Fortune 500 companies like the Green Bay Packers. Can I get a go pack -o, please? Hmm. And this state bleeds profits as smoothly as a barkeep pulls pints. Unemployment ain't an issue here either, folks, unless you count board bartenders. Bottom line is Wisconsin's blue collar work ethic and white collar job diversity will shield hardworking residents from the next downturn to wander past the welcome sign. Might as well start prepping a nice warm spot for the neighbors sure to flock in. Just save some new Glarus for me, would ya? <laughs> Number two, Maine. Well, 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 turns out Maine's rock solid economy is more resistant to recessions than a lighthouse is to nor'easters. What? With tourism hotter than beach sand in July, the fishing industry reelings have been quicker than a hungry brown bear and timber thicker than a moose infested forest. This down east economy churns out profits smoother than maple syrup. And there's just something about Maine's stubborn independent spirit and community tighter than the laces of uh, L.B. and Hunting Booth that weathers hard times like a scene net halls in the Daily Catch. The Pine Tree State's unique character and landscape seem to repel recessions as effortlessly as slippery seaweed tosses back the crashing Atlantic waves. So if you're fixing to escape your city troubles and tune out economic turbulence from an oceanside hammock, Maine just might be in your future, bucko. Just be sure to brace yourself for winters colder than a penny pinch in banker's heart. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pass me more of that sweet moxie soda now, would y'all? Number one, we'll butter my pancakes and douse me in maple syrup. Turns out Vermont's economy is sweeter than a sugar house full of maple candy. From its postcard-worthy landscapes that rake in leaf peeping tourist dollars by the bubblos to booming agriculture burst in with everything from dairy farms to maple orchards, Vermont is fertile as an Easter sunrise service. Creative types flock here quicker than cows meander home at dust too. With entrepreneurs and artisans harvest in Vermont's creative cash a separatelessly as picking low hanging apples. And local foodies keep the restaurant scene around Burlington hotter than piping French onion soup. Whether you prefer crafting furniture, catching a local folk band set at a back road barn bash, or peddling your award winning maple cheddar at the Stowe Farmer's Market, Vermont offers more ways for small business owners and dreamers to thrive than an oak tree's got leaves come September. Reckon that independent spirit also makes them more resistant to economic downturns than personal liberty activists are to tyranny. <laughs> so if you're fixing to take refuge from city slicker woes, stitch yourself into the cultural patchwork quilt of lovely Vermont, darling, uh, America's one having poised to blossom through tough times. So there you have it, the top 10 states to survive a recession. Now, I'm not saying you have to pack your bags and move tomorrow, but it's definitely worth considering if you're looking for a place to ride out the storm and maybe even make some money on the side. Hey, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more recession-proof survival tips and tricks. Remember, knowledge is power, and with the right information, you can not only survive this recession, but you can thrive. Uh, so what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, and let's get ready to conquer the recession together.